All right, Anne, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> so the last time you were here, you told me about what happened to you. Was that in Figueroa? Uh, no, well, I left from Figueroa, but it didn't happen on Figueroa. You are on another street? Um, actually, or, or were you even on the street? I, took, I was looking to another street. Another place, oh, oh, remember I, I told you, yeah. I left with a friend that I trusted. And, and you got and, beaten up and all kinds of crazy stuff for, yes. for like three days. Yes, that, well, I, I left with a friend from February, but we ended up somewhere else. Yeah, like, it's a horrible story. Yeah. So what's gone on in your life since, since then? Um, we've taken it one day at a time and um, trying to catch up with everything. I finally caught up with my rent for as my living situation. So I'm now, uh, you know, instead of owing them so many hundreds, I'm back to pay at eighty dollars a day, which is hard, because it's like once you pay the eighty dollars, you only get a few hours out of a day if you relax, and then you you, you have to um, be right back out there to do it again and again and again. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's really it takes a toll on you. It really does. So are you still working? Yes. The same way you were. I have no choice. You have no choice. I have to. I mean, I don't want to be homeless in the streets, you know, or nothing like that. I, you know, I'm still trying to build everything back up. Um, everything is still pretty basically hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like um, you succeed one day and you get like maybe, maybe an hour, maybe two to feel good because you did this or whatever, but in reality, you're just, it's never ending. It's never ending because you got, I mean, every single day you have to deal with this. You know, a lot of times, lately I've been sleeping a lot. I've been sleeping a lot. It's like, um, I do what I have to do to survive, but I, I, I just, you know, I'm tired. But you're living, like, it sounds like day by day. Day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, second by second. It's, it's like um, being in the middle of the ocean and you're trying to swim to the shore to get out, but these waves are steady pushing you back and you're not able to get to that shore. You're right there, but you get this wave that's going to push you back so many feet and then you got to swim harder and harder and harder to try to make it and you're so tired. You know, you feel like it's just going to end. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's how it feels. You know, basically that's how it is. And has it been harder to do this kind of work since what happened to you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I have to pray a lot and I have to just hold my head up and it's like, okay, we're gonna get through this day. We're gonna do this, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, but I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid all the time now. I'm very much afraid because, um, it's like every, every card that I get in, it, it's like, is this person gonna try to hurt me? Is this person gonna try to do something to me? You know, it's really, really scary now. You know what I'm saying? But I still gotta do what I gotta do to survive, you know? You know, it's kinda, I, only thing I did different this time, okay, I talked to a friend of mine and she works also. So she told me about a school and it's UEI, uh, you know, because I had, Went to school, so I wanted to go to school and maybe that will help change and everything like that. I did the whole application, everything, talked to people online. And then when we got to the financial aid part, they said that um, I had a student loans and stuff. So all of a sudden, everything just stopped right there. And then, oh, well, if you get this, once you get this part uh, taken care of, everything like that, they call me back. They just cut my whole application off. And that right there just took a toll on me because it's like, wow, for real, you know? You know, so it, I've been kind of, I would say um, doubtful now because I tried to take another turn, do something positive and I got shut down on that. So it's like, I feel like, um, you know, nothing I'm gonna, I just had a birthday and, and everything is just, It's just life, a fucked up life. Yeah, hope is, hope is an important thing to have. 
Well, yeah. And you get that. Kind yeah. Of I try to tell myself, okay, you can do something about this situation with the financial aid. Maybe you can still go to school. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's like, it seems like mean, everything in this world is revolved around money, 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 and materialist things. And that just really fucks me up. It bothers me. You know, it really does. Because it's like, no matter what you do, the, you know, the more money you see, the more problems you have. You know what I'm saying? You can't get forward. That's why so many girls, we can't get out of this situation because we got everyday things going on. You know, if you're trying to live a life and you have no other choice, you know, what can you do? There, there are less expensive places to live than California. No. No. I, the less, the less of, I don't see that. I mean, you're, you're from Texas, right? Yeah. Moving back to Texas must be cheaper. I can't. And I'm embarrassed to say, but I got kicked out of the state of Texas when I was younger, so I can't go back to Texas. You can't go back? No. So, um, it's like, where I stay right now, I'm really comfortable. You know, because when I'm inside my place, I'm in my own world, and I don't really realize where I'm at unless I open my door and go outside. But it's like, you know, it's like... Is it a new place or the same place? The same place. Oh, you got it back? Because yeah, it sounded like they were kicking you out or something. Well, yeah, they kept locking me out. I've been locked out so many times. And I, I think that's what made me stronger because, you know, like I said, when I got back, there was a lock on, my, you know, lock on my door and everything like that. And it's like, oh, my God, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And as much as I try to give him this, try to give him that, and I'm still, and then at the end of the day, the next day, I still get locked out because I don't want, you know, I say, oh, well, balance. You, you got some nice help from my viewers, right? Huh? You got some nice help from my viewers. Oh my God, I'm totally shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally shocked right now. Of, I think a lot of females really related to your story. I mean, it's like, that's, that, that makes me feel good. And I'm a cry, baby, excuse me, but I want to thank everybody. There's, there are a lot of donors. For, for caring and donation, whatever. I, I totally didn't expect none of this. And especially Juliet, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she made, she, made, she made a big donation. Much love, love. I appreciate it. You know, it helps a whole lot. I can get shoes now. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it must make you feel good too that, that yes. somebody cares out there, right? Yes, but it's so scary. It's like, seriously, because I didn't expect none of this. Mm. None of it. And I'm like, really? You just... I appreciate have, it. Have right you now. shared this story with anybody? Like outside? No, I haven't even seen it myself. No, I was like, totally you know, embarrassed. With, with your friends and stuff, you don't really. No, I, I walked up on a friend of mine. She said, I'm looking at your story right now. I said, No, don't do that. Don't look at it. You know, and she was like, It's okay. I was like, No, you know, no, I haven't looked at it. It's you know, to, to go through this because there's shame involved too, right? A lot. A I lot. mean, well, you're, not, you're not to blame for it, but. but, but well, you, we all go through a lot, but a lot of things I've been through is just hard to talk about and tell about it. And people close to me and people, that, you know what I'm saying, that I, I, I share, you know, a life with for is the streets and everything. Because people in the streets, we all street family. We're really like family because we're all out here in these streets going through the same thing. So we have nobody to depend on other than ourselves. And we kind of like look out for each other. So like my special friend that, you know, came to me and told me that about the, you know, situation, the donation. I was like, seriously? I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, I, I really can't believe it. I, I, I want to thank everybody that cares because no one really cared. You know, no one really cares about what happens to us out on the street. They look at us like, oh, they're just whores. They're just out there doing this and doing that. But it's not that. We go through a lot, a whole lot. And we only have each other to be family with. We have um, real family, yeah, but most of the time they're not understanding to what we go through out here. So we depend on each other for moral support and everything. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, once again, I want to thank everybody, you know, for caring mostly. You know, and I appreciate the donations and everything. And thank you, Julia, once again. Um, I'm really nervous right now because this is just such a shock to me. I wasn't expecting none of this. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you, look, you look happy and healthy, you know. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been sleeping a lot, Last you know? time you looked much more stressed. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, I look way, way stressed. That's why I think that's why I'm afraid to look at my own interview. I, I haven't seen it. I didn't know anything about the comments. Does it, does, it, does it keep you up at night or anything like that? Um, a lot of times, you know, I sleep periodically. It's like if I sit still longer than a minute or two, I'm asleep. You know, because I really don't sleep well. I have nightmares. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard for me. I've went into this, like, I've always had a depression thing, but like now it's like, it's trying to overwhelm me and take over and I'm really fighting it right now. You know, because sometimes it's hard for me to just open the door and go outside, go across the street to the store. It's just really hard, you know, and, I'm dealing with it, but I mean, you know, man, I don't know, know I need counseling and, you know, a little bit more help. I'm not, I'm not talking about financially, I'm talking about mentally and yeah, stuff like that. Because this tends to take a toll on you, you know. Yeah, you're very strong. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't think so. I go through a lot. It takes a, it, it takes a lot for me day to day just to get up and do what I have to do. I, I literally have to have drugs. I mean, of course, marijuana, a drink, something to deal with the streets now. I can't just... I was, I was down there last night and the night before, and I'm watching all these girls, and they have to be... On something. They, I'm sorry? You have to be on some kind of drug, something. No, but, no, but you, have to, you have to look your best. You have to have the right attitude. You have all to be that. friendly and personable, and, and they're getting rejected over and over again. Right. Even though they're beautiful women, but they're they're getting crapped on left and right, and the guys just like right, exactly because it's, you know, it's, like, not, it's not like every guy drives up to him and says, "Oh my God, let me give you a bunch of money and let's hang out." It's, no, it's, it's well, it's, I know one thing for sure. I've been blessed in a kind of certain way, but um, to where uh, the last few days it seemed like it hasn't been so hard for me. I haven't had to just be out there, be out there like all the time and do with different people. Because I've met a couple of friends that for some reason they just been really nice and helped me with my rent and with children's like last night I watched the World Series, a baseball game, you know, Dodgers lost. <laughs> but, you know, it comes with a friend that just happened to meet me and they said they like my personality and everything and so they helped me. So last night was one of the nights that I had a chance to rest. That's nice. I had a chance to sleep all night. Good for you. You know, said about maybe about 10, 11 this morning, you know? Yeah, so I got a pretty much some rest last night. But then again, and then it's like when I wake up, okay, I'm be with I'm like, okay, I got rest. Now it's time to go outside. Yeah. I had to get into that aura and get dressed and <sighs> try to feel sexy, you know, so I can, track attention and hurry up and get what I gotta get so I can go back in the house, <laughs> you know. So basically, um, it's still up and down. I'm still in the middle of the ocean, fighting for the shore. And once I get close to it, I'm still getting pushed back, you know, nothing changed about that, you know. But I'm still, Banking on myself to try to be strong, you know what I mean? You're doing a great job. Thank you. are doing a great job. Thank you so much. All I'm right trying, on. but I don't know. All right then. Thank you very much for coming in again. Okay. And uh, good luck with, with everything. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.